Mobile apps are becoming increasingly important for businesses and individuals alike. One key feature that users often expect is the ability to send emails directly from the mobile app. Fortunately, Flutter developers can easily add this functionality to their apps using the URL launcher package. This powerful package allows developers to open URLs, including email addresses, in the user's default email client. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of integrating the URL launcher package into a Flutter app and implementing the functionality functionality to send an email. I will also show at the end of the video some special configurations that you'll need to add to your app, especially if it targets the latest versions of Android and iOS. The first thing we need to do is to install the URL launcher package. We can find the command to install the package on the packages page on the pub.dev website. Once we have the command, we can head to our terminal and run it. This will add the URL launcher package to our pubspec.yaml file. Now that we've added the URL launcher package, we're ready to start implementing the code for this button that will launch the email app with our predefined messages. For that, we will go to this section of the code in the unpressed call back of this elevated button. In here, we will use the URI constructor to create an email URI with the information for the email. We will set the scheme to mail to, the path to the email address of the recipient. For the query, as recommended by the package documentation, we will use this encode query parameters function to properly encode the subject and the body of the email, ensuring special characters and spaces are handled correctly. Once that's done, we can call the launch URL method and pass in the newly created email URI. This method will open the default email app on the user's device, pre-filled with the specified recipient, subject, and message body. To avoid your app crashing when this action cannot be performed, we can use the can launch URL method to check if the URI can be launched before actually launching it. Now, before we can test it, there are some platform specific configurations that we need to add. More specifically, we need to add these configurations in the info.plist for iOS and those query entered in the manifest.xml for Android. Otherwise, the can launch URL method will return false in most cases, especially if your app is running on Android 11 or higher. Let's add those configurations now. For Android, we will go to Android, App, SRC, Main, then Android manifest.xml and paste those lines here at the bottom. For iOS, we will go to the iOS folder, runner, info.plist and paste those lines here at the bottom. Now that our app is complete, let's test it. When we click the right button, it should open the default email app with the recipient's email address, subject, and body pre-filled. Keep in mind that URL schemes might not work on some simulators or devices without the necessary apps installed. For example, iOS simulators don't have a default email app, so the mail to links won't work. Another thing you need to keep in mind is that sometimes the can launch URL method may return false even though the launch URL would actually work. Therefore, when a fallback behavior is available, it's recommended that you use launch URL directly and handle any potential failures with a try-catch block like in this example here. That was all for this quick flutter tip. Now click this playlist to learn other ways that you can extend your app's functionality using the URL launcher package, like sending SMSs or making phone calls. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more flutter tutorials.